Google Anna what now? What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur, and in this video, we're gonna walk through the basics of creating your Google Analytics account. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Google Analytics is this really cool free tool by Google that essentially tracks everything that happens on your site. And I mean everything. So you can know exactly which pages are getting you the most views, where people are bouncing off your site, and pretty much everything in between. Way more data than most of us want to know or most of us even want to think about, right? So the importance of Google Analytics is this. It tells you what's working on your site and it tells you what isn't. Now, even if you have no desire at all to play with your analytics or look at your analytics, you can hire a nerd like me to look at it and tell you what's going on, or you can just install it and forget about it. And then in six to nine months to a year later, once you've grown and scaled, then you hire a nerd like me and they come in and then they thank you so much for having analytics on your site. So even if you're not going to be looking at this at all, even if you're like, man, I have no desire, just absolutely no desire to play with this, I implore you to watch this tutorial and just add it to your site because the sooner you add it to your site, the sooner you begin to collect data. I mean, heck, after a year or two, you can go in and see what demographics are reading your blog, right? You can see what demographics are buying your products and services. It's actually really crazy how much data Google can collect for you for free, but you can't get all that info if you don't have ta if you don't have analytics set up and installed. So in this quick analytics tutorial video, we're just going to dive into my screen right here. We're going to show you how to set up the account and then how to add the simple code to your site using Google Tag Manager. And if you don't want to use Google Tag Manager, we'll go through the complicated way that I hope you don't actually follow. But I know there's one or two of you who hate Google Tag Manager for some reason, and we'll go through the long winded way as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead, dive right in. Okay, so here we start off at the analytics homepage. And once you click sign in with your account, you'll be taken to this page right here. And you're going to go ahead and click sign up. So we're, again, we're just walking through the basic process of setting up an analytics account. So let's go ahead, set up the account. What's the name of the company? So you type in your company name here and then your web property. What's your website name? So you can have multiple websites under your account. So in this particular instance, we're doing actfunnel.com and then you'll go ahead and type in your web URL or copy and paste it. Com. There we go. And then uh, as a option, you can choose to select one of these categories. These are really, really broad categories. I think five out of 10 times when I'm doing this for a client or one of my new businesses, you know, I just wind up picking something random because it doesn't really, doesn't, isn't really all that specific. And then if you want to receive even more emails, you can leave these boxes checked and make sure your time zone is correct and then go ahead and get tracking ID. And you'll agree to all of this fun text because we always read it, don't we? Except pretty much says that Google can do whatever they want with the data that they are collecting for you on your behalf. All right, cool. So now that you've set up the account, the account is set up, it's live, and all we need to do is add it to our website. So there are a couple different ways you can do it. You'd say, okay, got it. Now this ID right here that is blurred out on the screen is your unique tracking ID. And so every single web property you set up will have its own unique tracking ID. Now depending upon the page building software that you're using, it may or may not have an advanced integration. So in your WordPress you know, site or your page builder, it might just ask for your analytics tracking ID. And when it's saying, asking for that, this is the number that they want. And essentially it short, it's a shortcut from playing with you know, this web code here. And all you have to do is copy and paste this into that box um, on whatever you know, service you're using and you'll be good to go. Now for the rest of us, when it comes to website tracking, we're going to have to put this 
on our site. For the most part, this is going to go in the head of your website. So I'm gonna head over to my website right now and show you where I would put this and then I'll do a brief rundown of Google Tag Manager that will make this a whole lot easier. Now, most WordPress themes have a place for you to put this kind of information. You wanna put it in the head tag of all of the pages on your website. Now obviously you're not going to go to every single page and copy and paste this code. That would be a pain in the butt, especially because that would mean you'd have to put the code on every single page you make in the future. So what's really cool is most WordPress themes actually have a place for you to put this kind of code. So you want to navigate to your WordPress blog, then log in, go to your theme dashboard and three theme settings and look for something along the lines of tracking codes analytics, scripts, you know, tags, pixels, depending upon how marketing ready your theme is will determine the extra steps or not extra steps that you'll have to do. In my particular case, I'm using Thrive Themes and it gives me three options. I can put some, something in the header, in the opening or opening of the body and then the body script itself. So what we would do most of the time is we would come in here and if there's any text in here, you'll just scroll to the bottom, you'll hit enter, and control V, bam, that will put the analytics tracking code onto your site and this will put it on every single page. You go ahead and click save settings. Now there are some advanced ways to set this up and really I don't recommend them. What I do recommend is this option down here called Google Tag Manager. So I wanna go over to my Google Tag Manager really quick to show you how easy this is. So you'll go to Google Tag, you can just Google search Google Tag Manager. We have tutorials on the channel for you guys. And essentially what you, once you've set up your account, which takes just as much time, if not less than analytics, you'll come over here to click to add a tag. Whoops, no, not a default word. <laughs> Uh, add a new tag and then you'll go ahead and click this giant first box up here and you'll click classic Google Analytics in a load for a second and then voila it is going to ask for that web property ID so remember that big number that was blurred out earlier up here this is what you're going to put in that space right there and once you've copied and pasted it into the box right here oops not not twice just once you can come down here to triggering and you're just going to click on all pages and you'll go ahead and hit save and you'll hit save again and what's really cool is with Google Tag Manager you actually install the code once so you do the same thing Google Tag Manager gives you code so instead of adding the analytics code to your website like I've done here I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete all of this code that I just added you will install the Google Tag Manager instead so you'll copy and paste two parts of the Google Tag Manager, one in the header, one in the opening of the body. If you don't have a body option or you don't have an opening of a body option, you can put it in the header. Uh, it's a, supposedly kind of like a bad thing to do or faux pas, but you know what? It still works. And unless you want to hire a developer for 60 to hundred dollars an hour, let's just quick and dirty, get it done. So yeah, again, if you don't have, if you don't have only have the header option, you can put the Tag Manager, both Tag Manager snippets, see how it gives you two into that header option on your page builder or WordPress site. And then what's really cool is because you have Tag Manager on your site, now what I just showed you with adding Google Analytics, you'll go ahead and hit that submit button and Google Analytics will show up on your website. And so now all you have to do is have Google Tag Manager on the site instead of installing the analytics tracking code directly. So that's pretty cool. Again, link in the description to that video, also in the cards to this video on how to set up Google Tag Manager. And of course we walk through this process very briefly again in that video as well. And that is all there is to it, to setting up Google Analytics. I highly encourage you to go back and watch this video again as you go through the process. I mean, really this is a tutor overview tutorial but just pause and start this video as you go through the same process. It's going to be a piece of cake. You'll have this done in 30 minutes flat. And especially if you choose to use Google Tag Manager and use the playlist that we have over on the channel, you're definitely going to become a marketing pro when it comes to tracking all your data very, very quickly. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. I know it got a little technical in there, but that's just what it comes down to when setting all of this up. Again, all you have to do is set it up and you have all the time in the world to figure out what the heck all the numbers mean, but you can't figure out what the numbers mean and you can't have an analytics geek like myself come in and tell you what's going on if it's not installed. So. I think every person who has a website should have Google Analytics installed. And again, I highly recommend you check out the Google Tag Manager tutorial and make sure that you've got it all set up so at least you're collecting that data. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my YouTube channel, I'm documenting the entire process of putting together an online business from scratch and doing fun analytics style videos like these and of course, even more fun Instagram content videos, you know, Facebook content videos, Facebook marketing, all everything you need to know to market yourself in a digital environment. So I hope you come join myself and other aspiring entrepreneurs on this crazy journey of building a business. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.